I'm looking for is, is any sign of black fly infestation. Normally the first sign is not the black fly themselves, it's, it's ants, black ants. And what they do is they climb up and down the stem looking for the black fly. They tend to, they seem to know when the black fly are about to infest your broad beans. It's because they work, work in uh, harmony with one another. Um, so if you see ants climbing up and down your broad beans, don't think it's just the ant having fun, if you like. It's actually looking for the black fly or, or green fly even. But normally on broad beans, it's black fly that you get. More common. Yeah. Um, and they tend to be right at the top, because this is a, the t most tender part of the of the plant. As you can see, it's it's quite thin and spindly, and it's all fresh leaf. So it's easy for the black fly to get the sap from the broad bean itself. So what the ants do, they actually, as I say, work in tandem with the black fly. The black fly suck the sap from the plant, and then the ants sort of massage the black fly and they produce something called honeydew, which is then taken away by the ant, so it's like a payment. Yeah. And what, what the black fly gets in return is the protection of the ant. The ant protects the black fly from other pests. Yeah. So, uh, Good little team then, aren't yeah, they, really? Yeah, well, they are, but not for a garden. Not for a garden. <laughs> um, so what, what the cure really is, as soon as you start to see any signs of black fly, is to take these tips out, because they don't want to be lower down on the plant. You can, you can see infestations lower down, which is more tricky to get rid of, but if you do see an infestation at the top, all you need to do is just snip out the top portion. So you're not, you're not snipping it right down, all you're doing is taking out that, that tender growing tip. Yeah. Um, the plant would keep, keep growing, but as I say, we want, we want to make sure that it's healthy. Because yeah. um, it, the, the black fly will eventually da uh, uh, damage the, the plant. Plant, and it yeah. won't become and it, it's so productive. Then, yeah, so. yeah. But uh, uh, at the minute, we've seen a few ants crawling up and down, yeah. so I would say that the infestation is going to happen within the next, if not day or so, within the next week. Yeah. Um, because the, the ants do seem to have a, an idea of when the black fly are going to come. It's probably to do with the weather. Yeah. got plenty of uh, pods that have set so they're, they're setting all the, all the way up the plant they'll set at each leaf joint you get your flowers and as they go over to get pollinated you get your your beans appearing and it, what it is it's like a succession so these ones at the bottom should be uh, ready for taking before the ones further up the stem right. and as I say it would keep climbing but to protect the plant and so you don't really want to tire the plant out because if you get too many beans on it they won't they won't develop right the plant will not be able to support them yeah. so just take that top growing tip out um, once you you get to a certain height even if you don't get an infestation it's a good thing to do anyway yeah. but generally speaking black fly do attract uh, do attract to uh, the broad bean and vice versa yeah. one attracts the other so if you get them further down yeah. it's, it's perhaps not necessary to cut off the tip no, what um, what I would do if what I tend to do if I get them lower down to avoid using uh, pesticides, which obviously can kill beneficial insects. Yeah. If you are going to use a pesticide, um, a, a spray, use it late in an evening when there's no bees and anything about. Because yeah. then obviously it's got time to work overnight, and hopefully right. by the time the bees return, the pesticides and its stuff and the black flies gone. But what I tend to do is either and it's not a very pleasant job is run my fingers up and down the stems where the black fly are and you do get really black fingers and it's not a very pleasant job but if you, it, it works it kills the black fly or if you don't want to do that get a, as you water your, your broad beans if you need to water them use a bit of a powerful spray and, and spray the stems with your hose and that tends to wash the black fly off right. some will return some you'll kill yeah. um, but it just disturbs them 
Um, and at the end of the day, what, you, what you're trying to do is to make sure you get your crop of beans. Yeah. Once you've got your crop of beans, you can snip them off at the bottom and that, that's it for this year. Yeah, cool, that's oh, brilliant. I mean, I'm pleased we've seen that for the sake of the film, yeah. <laughs> not for Probably the sake not. of my beans. <laughs> <laughs>